In this lesson, we will look at getting started with Cypress Real World app, which is a reference showcase application built by the Cypress team. If you haven't already, subscribe for more web development tips. And with that said, let's go. The Cypress Real World app is available freely on GitHub, so we copy the clone URL and then go into our terminal and write git clone pasting in the URL that we just copied. Once the repository is cloned, we can cd into that directory. Now the Cypress Real World app uses yarn, so the first step that we need to do is to install all the dependencies and dev dependencies using yarn install. Once the installation is complete, we can open this folder up into our IDE and start poking around. Let's do a quick rundown of the folders present within the project. First up, we have CircleCI, which is the CI server used by this application and you can see it configured on GitHub. .vs code contains the configuration for this IDE that we are using, which is VS code. The backend contains all the source code for the backend of the application. The Cypress folder contains the tests and we will look at these in a minute. The data folder contains the database that is used by this application, so we don't have to install and set up an external database in order to use this. Also notice the username, Katharina Brenner, which we will use to log in into this application. The public folder contains the front-end assets used by Create React App. Within scripts, we have some utilities to manage the data for testing. And the source contains all the code for the front-end application, which is written using Create React App. Now within package.json, we have all the dependencies and dev dependencies, which we've already installed using yarn install. And then a key portion is the script section. The main script to run the front end as well as the back end application is dev. So we open up the terminal and run yarn dev. This initializes the database and then it concurrently runs the back end as well as the front end application. Once the booter process is complete, it will open up our browser at the login screen. Now we can use any of the usernames that we found in database.json, but for now we'll use Katharina Brenner. All of the usernames have the password secret with an E turned into a three. Once you log in, you will see that it is a banking application with a few tabs in our home screen that we can navigate to at the top of the UI. And then on the left hand side, we have different screens that we can navigate to using the nav bar. And finally, we can log out out of this application. That's just a quick rundown of the application. Now let's look at how it is being tested using Cypress. Now when we navigate to the Cypress tests folder, you can see that there are tests for the API and then there are separate tests for the UI. One of the simplest user tests is the login one which is directed by the auth.spec.ts. It has a number of tests to ensure that the login, logout, signup flow works as expected. Now to run these tests, open up a new terminal session and run yarn test. This will open up the Cypress test tab, which lists all the tests that it finds within the test folder. In order to run a test, simply click it, for example, auth.spec.ts to run these tests using the Cypress test runner. On the left hand side of the test runner, you can see the individual tests running and on the right hand side, you can see these tests actually executing within an actual browser environment. Now Cypress maintains a log of all the UI states for any of these tests. So if you want to debug any of these tests, for example, the last one where an error message is displayed for an invalid username or password, we can expand that and we can hover over the individual items to see what the UI looked like when this test was executing. At this point, you are encouraged to go through and modify the application code for the backend or the frontend or the tests to learn more about full stack TypeScript application development and how to do testing using Cypress. As always, thanks for watching, smash that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.